OK, I'm going to cover how to use Photo's live perspective projection, which sounds quite involved, but the premise is fairly straightforward. To access it, we make sure we've got the image layer selected. Then we go to Layer, Live Projection, and choose Perspective Projection. OK, so we get a grid covering our image. And what we want to do is find the area we wish to edit, which is going to be the TV screen here. And all we need to do is just drag the node handles to fit the television. I'm just doing a rough job for now to get them in place. And now I'm going to zoom in and do a more accurate job. Like so. OK. Now then, the way live projection in photo works is that you define the area here. Then, as soon as you switch tools, so we could, for example, choose the view tool, what it will do is project that area we just defined onto a flat 2D canvas representation. So what this essentially means is we can edit any kind of perspective as if it were just a flat 2D plane. So for example, what I'm going to do here is drag in an image. I've just got a JPEG of one of my photos here. I'm just going to drag, drop it in. And what I'll do is select the Move tool and just reposition it like so. And of course, the aspect ratio of the television is different. So I'll probably want to expose maybe this much of the image. OK, good. So the aim of this is, of course, to composite an image onto the television for the overall scene. And to make this blend a bit better, we've obviously got the edges of the television here, which we want to include. So now I'll demonstrate another neat little technique, which is using a vector shape as a clipping mask. So what I can do is select the rectangle tool here. And I'll just draw out a box to begin with. OK, I can worry about resizing and repositioning it in a minute. And all I need to do is click drag this rectangle and offer it to the image so we get a vertical blue bar, like so. So the image is now being masked or clipped to the rectangle. So I can select the rectangle and I can rescale it. In fact, I'll zoom in for a more accurate job here until it meets the edges of the TV screen here. OK, nearly there. And we're good to go. Well, almost. Just to help it blend in a bit more, making sure we have the rectangle selected, I'm going to move across to the effects panel here, enable Gaussian blur, and we'll try a radius of around about four pixels. And that just softens off the edge. I'll just select the view tool here so we can see the edge of the rectangle without the bounding box. It just softens up the edge and helps it blend a bit more realistically. All right, we're not quite done yet. I'm also going to add an effect to the overall image. So I'll select the medical building image layer. Then I'm going to go to filters, color, and halftone. OK, so we want to set our screen type to something a bit more suitable, such as color. Then I'm going to reduce the cell size to around about 20, and the contrast all the way down to about 30. OK, so as we can see, this just gives the impression of a TV that's been photographed in a real life scene where you can see the individual pixel arrays. And I'll go ahead and click Apply. And then our final step is to merge down. So now that we've got our layer on top of the flat 
2D projection. We need to go to Layer, Merge Down, and merge it down into the original RGB pixel layer because this layer is the one that has the projection applied to it. So then, to get back to our entire scene, we can select the Move tool and choose Edit Live Projection. And as we can see, the image has been composited successfully onto the TV along with that halftone filter just to make the blend a bit more realistic. Now, I won't go into editing any other projections, but I will just show you how to add multiple planes and jump between them. So, up here on the context toolbar, we have Add Plane and Remove Plane. I can simply click Add Plane to add another perspective plane. So, let's say, for example, we wanted to edit the portrait painting here. We could, of course, move our perspective grid over the painting like so. OK. And then, as before, as soon as we switch to another tool, like, say, the paintbrush tool, it will project that perspective grid onto our current 2D canvas. Now, it looks stretched, which is to be expected, because currently the projection canvas is the same aspect ratio as the overall image. But let's say we were to conclude our editing on this 2D projection. We could simply switch back to the Move tool here, choose Edit Live Projection. And then to move between the perspective grids, all we need to do is click on them, like so. So, for example, at any point, I could click to select the television, then again, select a tool to move back into that projection. Again, switch to the Move tool, Edit Live Projection to come out, and I can switch between the planes. And of course, with a plane selected, you can also choose Remove Plane to delete it. Finally then, to come out of Live Projection as a whole, we can just go to Layer, Live Projection, Remove Projection. And there we go, that concludes our perspective projection edits to the image, so we can sit back and enjoy the final result. So there we go, I hope you found that helpful and it's given you some ideas. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials.